The question says A, B and C are points on the circumference of a circle. Triangle ABC is equilateral and the sides each have a length of 7 cm. Prove that the radius of the circle equals 7 on square root 3. Pause the video now and see if you can find the answer yourself. So here we have our equilateral triangle and one side is 7 cm long. And because it's equilateral we know that one angle will be 60 degrees. And we're looking for the radius. Uh, so the radius, of course, you know, is the line from a point on the circumference to the center of the circle. Now, if we draw a bisector of this triangle, so if we draw a line cutting this triangle in half from point A to the bottom of this triangle, that's cutting this angle in half, so each of these angles is 30 degrees. And I can do the same thing from C and also from angle B. And those three lines, they actually meet in the center of the triangle and the center of the circle. Also, because they're bisecting these angles, they are meeting these edges of the triangle at 90 degrees. And also, this length from A to the center must be the radius. So using this setup, that's going to help me solve this problem. Something else I can state is because this is a 30 degree angle, and this is a 90 degree angle, this angle in here must be a 60 degree angle. So what I have here is a right angle triangle with an angle of 30 degrees and an angle of 60 degrees. And I actually know something about the ratio of the sides of a right angle triangle like this. Uh, so if I draw a quick right angle triangle down here, and the angles are 30 and 60, the ratio of the sides of this triangle are 1 to 2 to root 3. This is commonly used in trigonometry when talking about the sine and the cosine of angles. So this can often be used in problems like this and this will allow me to find the radius. The other thing I can say is because this, this line is cutting this angle in half, it's also cutting the length of the triangle in half. So this line from point A to the center of this line, let's call it D, this line AD will be 7 centimeters divided by 2. So I'll write that as 7 on 2. So I know that AD equals 7 on 2. And I know the ratio of the radius or the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle to this leg AD is 2 to root 3. So in this diagram, the bottom edge is root 3 and the hypotenuse is 2. So I can say the ratio of the radius to this edge AD equals 2 to root 3. Now I know what AD is, so I can say the ratio of the radius to AD is R to 7 on 2 equals 2 to root 3. And now if I rewrite these as fractions, remember you can always write ratios as fractions, I can say that R divided by 7 on 2 equals 2 on root 3. So to get R by itself, I need to multiply this side by the denominator. So I need to multiply the right hand side by 7 on 2. So R is going to equal 2 on root 3 multiplied by 7 on 2. And here I'm multiplying fractions so I can cancel these 2's out. And I end up with the radius equal to 7 on root 3, which is what the question asked me to prove. So there you go, a quick problem involving equilateral triangles and circles. Did you have a go at the question yourself? Did you come up with a different solution? I know there are other ways to solve this problem. Also, it turns out if you have an equilateral triangle inside a circle, this always holds true. So the radius will always equal the side length, let's call that A, divided by root 3. And that's a useful equation if you're ever faced with a problem involving an equilateral triangle inside a circle you might be able to use this equation to help you solve the problem. I hope you found that useful. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.